Welcome to the exciting and new podcast. I'm Jason. I'm Andy. And I'm number one, Brian. Number one, Brian. That's number one, Mike, because Andy just found out he's the number five, Mike. And why is he the number five, Mike? Because I had blue tape when I set up his thing. And but that doesn't make any the sense. The number why, five why is a blue associated Mike. with the blue tape, right? <laughs> why isn't blue associated with one? Well, I didn't have I should, orange at the very or yellow least tape. Be two. We well, that, yeah, that would have been orange tape. I don't even have orange tape. Why does it have to be? Why does there need to be tape? <laughs> why are we associating numbers with I tape? I thought this was digital. Because there's number, there's are, colors are we, on on here. Are we recording digitally? <laughs> but that fucks up his tape. Apparently, <laughs> what's going on here? I have uh, yellow tape. Well, there's white tape. That doesn't correspond racist. to anything, right? I mean, come on. The that's first thing he picks that. up is this correspond. Like, let me prove my point. Except that doesn't prove my point. <laughs> if this was a different color, it would have proved my point. <laughs> I'm colorblind, and everything looks white to me. All right. Well, what this we week here? we're talking <laughs> about start like this. We're talking about the classic from July 23rd, 1982, directed by Robert Rosenthal. Oh. Zapped. July twenty third. Ladies and gentlemen, zapped. Oh, my right son, before. My son is born on July twenty third. Oh. Two thousand. So <laughs> 18, eighteen years, years, years later, later <laughs> after this movie, exactly to the day. <gasps> eighteen years Daniel wow. is born. And you know what was playing and on when the, I uh, saw this movie in nineteen eighty two? I didn't know 18 years from now I would have a child. <laughs> and then the exact same day, I did not see this movie on the night it came out. You know it was playing on the TV in the uh, hospital and uh, <gasps> son was born? If Zap was playing <laughs> when Daniel was born, <laughs> that would have been wild. That is 18 so years funny. ago today, boy, this was your life. <laughs> this mildly offensive, possibly rapey movie. <laughs> I have an IMDb description for you, and actually, it's a, t- a two paragraph of one. my so son, or it's the movie Zach. The short description was: a high school science nerd gains telekinetic powers after a laboratory accident and uses them for revenge upon bullies. A laboratory accident, <laughs> and what bullies? That's what I didn't know. This, there was like two mean Levine. Is that a bully? In but it? they like know. they made the bullies. Yeah. Because of them being dicks with his powers. They exactly. made the bullies happen. And and Toomey and Levine, don't sleep on that. We need to get back to him. I, but, I, that's um, one of my favorites. I, I said to Michelle five minutes into this movie, I'm like, I love how they take the super hot guy and toss his hair around and put goggles <laughs> on him and be like, look at the nerd. Like he's still Scott <laughs> Bayo, and you wouldn't fuck him right now. Of course you wouldn't. They, so I was like, point, I'd fuck him. I'm like, I know, but they put goggles on him and tossed up point, his hair. Look how young he is. <laughs> he was 20 something, <laughs> 22 at least. The other description I had here is Barney Springboro and Peyton Nichols are fun loving high school students working on a science project with white mice. When one of the mice begins to move food toward itself without touching it, Barney finds he has accidentally discovered a formula for telekinetic powers. Now, how much trouble can a high school kid who can move things with just his mind get into? You know what? I really hate the fact that I made a point of knowing what made the telekinetic powers. Like when the principal came, was it the principal? And Barney doesn't know that. But he dumped something in. Oh, Willie Ames. Was it Willie Ames that came in and moved something or, around? No, that was uh, Scatman Crothers. Scatman Crothers. And he moves it because he's getting the Jack Daniels behind Great the- Great casting. In yeah, this Scatman. Movie, by the way, too. Logan came in. He's like, why do I know this guy? I'm like, you know him. <laughs> Stop and think about it for a minute. And he like looked at him. He's like, he said, are you shining? Me? shining I'm like no. the shining, of course. That's why you know Scatman Crothers. That's why I know Scatman Crothers. But <laughs> the, so the formula for making telekinesis was cannabis oil and- Jack Daniels? No, beer. Oh, was it beer? Oh, beer. okay. Yeah, because Willie Ames poured the beer in and okay. the pink smoke came out. Yeah, the pink smoke and then it went went away real fast, too. <laughs> so if <laughs> beer and cannabis. What a combination. Like, how is everybody how did, not like picking every that, girl's <laughs> dress up in the exactly, world all how's that every had day? that happened already? Yeah. <laughs> Bad combination, but that would be so perfect for I like the when, world uh, <laughs> that has cannabis and beer as the. Uh, Formula for telekinesis. <laughs> when he had everything <laughs> floating around, and she opens the door, and then everything just falls. <laughs> that, that would happen exactly. If you I have to concentrate on it, everything would fall down. That was what, great. What? It was perfect timing. <laughs> 
Scott Baio, we mentioned, is uh, was he in this? Is in this? He's, Which one's he? He's playing Barney. Barney, which is a name you don't get too often. You don't. No. There's like one famous Barney. Yeah. Well, actually, I guess we could say two. Who's the other one? You got Rubble. That's the only one. I and know. the Purple oh, Dinosaur. The Purple right? Dinosaur. That's what yeah, I was thinking. You know I didn't thinking, think about yeah. that. And I know uh, what's his face, uh, Doogie Howser on oh, How yeah. I Met Your Mother. Uh, is Barney is also? Barney. I've never so seen that, that show, but that's I know his, his name, name on that. Barney. Yeah. That is a funny show. I've never watched that, but that's fine. He is great on that show. I'll allow it. Yeah. I like him. Yeah. I've never seen it. I've never watched the show yet, but I don't know if I just didn't. Yeah. I know Bob Saget was the, uh, the narrator. Narrator, yeah. yeah. What are you dropping over there, man? Nothing. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like a gun went off. <laughs> uh, Bill Ames, or as you know, Willie. I was like, who's the hell's Bill w- Ames? W- Willie Ames. I think Bill Ames played for the Red Sox in the 70s. Oh, he, did you want to do Scott Bayo's top four? Oh, yes, I do. You want to see what it is? I don't know what it is, but I do want you to do try it. try and guess Scott Bayo's I mean, top four. Is Zapped in the top four? Zapped is not in his top four. I mean, Happy Days and Zap, that's all I... Oh, and Charles in Charge. Charles in Charge and Joni Loves Chachi. So Happy Days is in his top four. The others that you have mentioned are not. Charles so in Charles Charge? So Charles in Charge is not in his top four. Charles in Charge is not in his and top Zapped four. And Zap is not in his top four. Zap is and not Joni in his Loves top Chachi four. Chachi is not in his Joni top four. Joni Loves Chachi is not in his top four. <laughs> the hell else was he in? I, I, I'm going to give you Scott this Scott Bayo turns 50 or I'm something I'm going to give you like this that? one because you're not going to get this one in it. This one is called The Bread, My Sweet. It's a movie from 2001. That's I've never even heard of that one. I, I hadn't heard that either. <laughs> I another, cry foul on this game already. Another one that you're not going to get. <laughs> oh, come on. Wait, Super Babies, Baby Geniuses 2. <laughs> so that's not... Yeah, but this I, other one, um, I'm a little upset that none of you know who I Bob Loblaw is. Ah, Arrested Development. Oh. But come on, Charles in Charge. Charles in Charge should have been in there. I agree. That. Yeah, I agree. And I know Even I Jody sh- loves Chachi. Uh, uh, yeah. It was a starring vehicle. He did star. You know, but he is Henry Winkler's son, nephew in Arrested Development. Cousin? Oh, oh, in Arrested Development. I, oh, he's his cousin in Happy Days, Happy Days for sure. Yeah, yeah. he's his cousin, uh, Chachi Arcola. That's right. Uh, um, I saw a movie with him. I'm pretty sure it was before his Happy Days run, or well, it might have been. A, yeah, Scott Baio. Yeah. And it might have been right around the same time. And he was. We did catch him in a Love Boat episode, season <sighs> one. I feel like I should. That's yeah, right. Did. With Chrissy McNichols, right? Yeah. I feel like I should have looked this up. He was he was on a school trip. It was a class trip. <laughs> There's so many movies at that at that time. And <laughs> he was a hemophiliac. And I remember he got cut. In I like, remember that. It, it might have been like a made for TV movie. Exactly. Or like a su- Saturday afternoon movie. Or- yeah, he's, in 50, and he, he's in 58 Things. So let's see here. I remember the hemophilia. He gets cut. And you, you think he's like like a needle drug guy. Bugsy Malone. He got an NBC special treat. I, don't I wonder if that's it. What's that say this is about? Hold on. I'm getting a, I have a very anthology series of television specials geared towards teenagers. That might be it. It could be that. Oh, it might have been like you just said, it was a special. And then uh, because after that was uh, the love boat was the next thing. He, that he we saw did. that love boat episode. And then the runaways. Yeah. But I remember like he gets cut. They're, they're like fooling around in the uh, hotel room that they're at. And something breaks and he gets cut. And he runs into the room and like you're made to believe that like like he's tying himself off and he's getting ready to shoot up. But How about you the find boy out who later drank he's a hemophiliac. Much. What's that? The boy who drank too much. Are you talking about? That's me? a 1980 uh, movie uh, with uh, Scott Baio. I did not star in that in 1980. I starred in that in 1988 <laughs> through 2022. <laughs> it's a TV movie. And gonna... hopefully forward. I do. But remember... at this point, <laughs> you put two thousand. You say the present. 1980 I, to 2000. Or to I remember to his, uh, his, uh, <laughs> the man November, who drank too much. Or the boy? November 12th, 1980, Sorry. uh, after school, ABC after school special, Stoned. I remember Stoned. that episode. Yeah, he sm- he was smoking weed in it. Oh. It was a great after school special. <sighs> which smoked, smoked weed in this movie, too. And see, I wish I would have bought it. I saw this years ago at Princeton Record Exchange. It was a box set. But this movie? Zapped? No, after school oh. specials, ABC after school specials. It was all of them. <laughs> By the way, like, I don't know I if we talked about it already. <laughs> Do we? We should, probably should say how we watched this movie. How did you watch this movie? Zapped. I had the DVD. And Brian, uh, yeah, uh, downloaded. It. Okay, I could not find this anywhere today. 
illegal or legal. I looked, I looked, I looked, and I probably should have looked in the since boxed DVD. A lot smaller collection. Section now, right? of our, <laughs> it's in the guest room. We have like four or five paper boxes. Michelle said, I think I have this on DVD. I could not find this on any other. I mean, YouTube blocked. Yeah. Some other service that I use to find things that you might not find legally blocked, 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 not available. I'm like, I'm not finding it. I, I was texting you guys. I'm like, I might not be able to prepare now, I was myself. Ask for this. You, would you have? Would we have podcasted this movie? If no, I wouldn't. It, I wouldn't have lied and said I watched it. So I didn't know it enough to I, be able to yeah, do it. No, no, saying, no. Right? Watching this today, I, I have not seen this movie in 35 years at least. So. I wouldn't have known how to podcast on it, but Michelle had the uh, DVD, and I watched it in a... It's funny, when he texted, like, did you guys do your homework? And I was like, yeah. (laughs) And you were like, yeah, so... I figured he was done too. I was really hoping someone's gonna be like, I can't find Zapped. <laughs> I can't watch it. I'm like, good. Cause I can't find You're it like, either. Yeah, we'll do that one anyway, another time. I watched it in a what do you call when the Oh, the four uh, by three format? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was yeah. Like, yeah. Television. I was like, I was like watch format. it like, uh, like this is what a DVD <laughs> looks like from two thousand on a 2018 TV from a movie made in 1982. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> It was all boxy, and I had to sit through the FBI warning saying if I pirated this movie, I'd be arrested. And ah, oh, god, I had the FBI warning as well. It's like, that's oh, like, well, you watch. Was yours letterboxed or was yours? Uh, mine was full screen. Full screen. Okay. Yeah. Mine was. Mine wasn't full screen. Mine was. I mean, mine wasn't letterbox. Mine was like the big blocks on like the letterbox side. is when the black bars are on the, the top, top and, and top bottom. And bottom. Yeah. Mine was left and right. right. Mine was like that's the four three. Right? You're watching yeah, this on three, a, you're yeah. watching this on a TV in it's the nineties. So style. yeah, that's so it's like yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> that was so stupid. But anyway, whatever. That's how I watched it. That was fun though. I mean, I'm just glad we all got to watch it because that's a fun movie. A Brady hated it. He, oh yeah, tell us. Uh, he did walked, he sit and watch it with you? He started it with me, and then he, he walked out, and he was just like, "What part he, did he, he walk out?" To on? specifically tell you that he. He thought this was the dumbest movie. Logan, um, like as I podcast last week about Porky's, where Logan watched the. Uh, that was last week. Wow, wow, wait a minute. <laughs> where Logan watched all the boobies come up on screen in the 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 um, shower scene. Mm-hmm. Um, he came in at the prom scene, and we said, "Logan, come watch this with us." And it was just a bunch of girls getting their tops ripped off, and. <laughs> It's like yeah. what, what what kind of movies do you, <laughs> you guys watch? Um, it's like the, I don't understand what's and, happening and during here. that scene. It was like half, yeah, only half, half, half the half people were, were affected. Like, <laughs> why is and that? Why were some that? people just affected with their tops getting ripped off? Some people had their skirts ripped yeah. off. Some guys had their pants ripped off. Like <laughs> that was one of my mental notes. There's only no half logic the people were affected. I, was, I said the first. That's the first thing I said. Is like, only half these people are getting uh, their clothes and ripped if, off. It's like, I don't know if you're listening to our. Uh, podcast minis. about the homelander i his his ability you know the uh, mini podcast oh, we did about homelander but scott bay was ability to i act fuck it like he was just <laughs> 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 scott bayo i love you dude scott Bayo's up there i let you him. fuck my wife right now you are not a good actor dude. so you're not <laughs> saying scott bayo and anthony star no. are the same the uh... way anthony stark and i act Scott Bayo cannot. It's the exact opposite end of the it other sounds spectrum. Sounds like you have bad English. I act. <laughs> the way he would like move his head, you're like, eh? I'm, I'm, sh- I'm moving you over there. He's and a, I get it because it's, it's one of those like X Men powers where you just have to use your mind about, to do he's it. The and, cute guy that's about to have every smoking hot blonde <laughs> that you right? can think of. He is at the <laughs> the precipice of like having every. 18 year old chick in Hollywood that's coming through yep. the mill. He's going to fuck all of them and leave all of them. Yep. Scott Bayo is just going to walk, make his While way we're watching Zapped in 1982, there's a bunch of like 18 year olds, 17 year olds watching Zapped right then, not knowing how fucked they're about how to get crazy. by Scott Bayo. Their, <laughs> their life is about to get turned like, upside down. I would fuck that guy. And then. Next thing Six you know. months from now, they're fucking that they're like, guy. You know who I was just with last week? <laughs> who else is in this movie? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was going through cast members. I think right. we Let's hit it. See. It's Scott yeah. Bayo. 
<laughs> There's Scott Bale and Bill Ames we mentioned. Uh, Robert Mandon. Oh, oh, Heather Thomas. But did we really mention Bill Ames? Oh, Willie Bill Ames. Ames we just, we, Willie uh, Ames was oh, Willie Willie Ames, Ames, yeah. he was in enough. Charles in Charge with him. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if that's in his top four. Oh, Willie Ames is top four. I couldn't even tell you. Did Zapped Willie Ames have any movies Zapped, on his own? Zapped is in his top four. Oh. Can you remind me? Was, was it in Scott Bale's top four? <laughs> It was not. Oh, right, right, right. It was some meaningless uh, thing in the 2000s. A movie right. that gets a 3.7 out of a 10, and it does not have Scott Bayo in it. Bottle Monster. <sighs> I don't know that one. So it's, it's Zap drama, the Bottle Monster. From, uh, oh, it's from 2020. Ooh, that's got to be horrible. <laughs> he did a COVID movie that's his top four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Zapped I mentioned in that bottle movie, and what are his other two that you mentioned? Did you <laughs> Didn't say mention any? shit? <laughs> I thought you said uh, Charles in Charge. No, Charles in Charge is in oh, Willie it's Ames. In Willie Ames. Uh, I'm Not sure it's in, in uh, what's her face is um oh Eckerd uh, uh, Nicole, Nicole, Nicole Eckerd. Eckerd. Yeah. I'm sure it's in her top four oh, also. And, yeah, and Josie Davis who follows Josie me on Twitter. Davis. Really? <laughs> wow. Josie Davis, come on the podcast. Come on. I mean, you need to be in person, unfortunately. We can't do, we can't do, yeah, we're going to need her. I mean, we'll come to her place. Where does she live? She's California? Yeah, she's in California. So, I mean, I mean, we can fly. We need to scout. I fly fly now. now? Oh, you fly now? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. We need to scout for for the podcast. We need to scout (laughs) locations in Vegas anyway. So, (laughs) that's true. You know, I've been looking on Zillow. So, do some recon, you know. I'm in. If you say tomorrow, Andy, I need money. I'm fucking in. He's liquid. He's <laughs> liquid. In, man. He's liquid. I want to do it before I retire. I oh, want to yeah. retire. Oh, yeah. We'll have it all set up. I want to retire, retire in Nevada. We'll have everything built and like set it. up. Speaking of which, I'd like to talk about um, Chachi's boner at one point. <laughs> <laughs> we went from last week. When he was in class. Tommy's boner from last week in Porky's. To, uh, well. Pee wees. When we watched, was it Tommy had the huge rod through the? Uh, but we we opened the movie bread. with, oh, with uh, Pee Wee's oh, boner. Pee-wee. I'm talking about it. Uh, uh, but when I saw, hole. I'm sorry. I, when I saw Chachi's boner in <laughs> class, when he couldn't get up from class, when the teacher was like, "Come up oh, here," and he, he like, to, he's like, like, "I gotta tuck this all down here." Bandana that he wears around his leg in Happy Days. <laughs> that was the Chachi <laughs> bandana. But I, I when he we when he couldn't get up because of his hard on, I was like, taken right out of. Peewee from yeah. Porky's. Yeah. So it was one of those things that I just like the connection between Porky's and that's happened and in so many movies since then. Totally. Well. You know what I mean? But I saw two back to back. Yeah. Weeks back to back in our summer oh, of. It feels like almost like days. In our yeah. summer <laughs> of uh, sexploitation movies. Yeah. And then we got a big, uh, we got a special Halloween coming up for you kids. That's just. Well, Halloween is way, way months from now. But I know, but I'm just telling them, more, I'm exciting them. Right now we have our we have our summer of sex and then we have our Halloween scarathon. Exactly. Oh yeah, and then right Maybe. into our uh, Christmas, which I don't think we have any Christmas movies, right? Christmas story might come out this year. No, oh, that's eighty three. Yeah, uh, maybe it's speaking Silent, of uh, Silent direct- Night, Deadly Night, <laughs> <Is that> a <laughs> scary movie or a Christmas that one, movie. <laughs> um, and yeah, one other one for uh, oh, his top really? four. We're still on Willie Ames. <laughs> I didn't know we got off him. Is there anything we would know? Yeah. Oh. It's actually his number one. It's actually his number word. one. Was he on like a other sitcom? And it's funny because I'm saying fuck. He was on another sitcom. I'm saying one, but maybe I should be saying a different number. <sighs> oh, <sighs> I know now. What he's on? He's enough. He's like the oh. youngest son. Or the second he's youngest, youngest son. son. Yeah, he's right. Nicholas he's, is the youngest he's, son. Yeah, he's the fucked up. He's one. the he's the <laughs> middle child, but seven down middle child. <laughs> He's Tommy Bradford. <sighs> of course. Man, of I haven't seen course. Aiden enough. So, probably since they aired. But Jason saw it last night. So I did not see it. Yeah, <laughs> I do have season one on DVD, though. <laughs> we should do a re So is enough zapped and then two things we never heard of? Is that what it is? Yeah. But Charles in Charge. No, wait. Charles in Charge zapped. It is enough. And then there was a And then something movie. else. Yeah. But Scott Bread. Bayo didn't have zapped or... Charles in charge. No, Scott Bale. But he had happy days and then a bunch of bullshit. Willie Ames' is top three and he had is better than development. Right. Yeah. <sighs> Listen. Scott no, Bayo does not deserve to be in the top four. I know, but I'm just saying that's what his 
I know what you're saying. I'm saying it doesn't deserve to be there. Scott bayo has got other better top four. I agree. And Scott Bayo. Rest of development's better than Scott Bayo. There are so many people you can mention before you mention. Yeah, he's like twenty. Scott build. Bayo doesn't make Arrested Development. He's Arrested like Devel- twenty. Arrested build. Development would carry on without Scotty Bayo. Yeah, it was fun to have him on there. They could put, Scott, had they could put Scott Wolf in there. Yeah, <laughs> whoever that is. I know. <laughs> Party of Five. Party Party of five. five. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Nev Campbell. I watched it, and the guy from Lost tried to be cool for Nev a second. Nev Campbell, like, Canadian. For yeah. a Canadian viewer. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, what are you watching <laughs> this on, man? Viewing all this shit. All right, so who else we got in this movie? Um, Anthony Heather Eddie. Thomas, who well, did a I didn't poster. Get, we'll get to Heather Thomas. We're on Robert Mandon. Robert Mandon. Jack Tripper's father-in-law. Yes. Uh, Standard soap. of 80s uh, sitcoms. Soap uh, fame. Soap, right, uh, right. Zapped is in his top four. He's also in the best little whorehouse in Texas. Is he really? Wow. He's one of the well, we'll see he's a senator. <laughs> he's a senator. Um, he's in Star Trek. He looks uh, like a senator. He, he plays uh, Kotan Padar. Oh, Kotan Padar. Yeah, yeah, I know that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Star Trek. Okay, right? sure. It's one of your Star Treks. I don't know. You guys, I don't know, you're man. A Star Trek. Guys. I am not a Star Trek nerd. I'm a Star that's Trek. That's why our listener out in Colorado, Anthony. How old was um? <laughs> how old was he in this movie? So this movie was 1982. Yeah. Uh, he was. Uh, like what, what do you, how old do you think he was in this movie? I believe I know exactly how old he was because I was watching this movie and saying like. How old is this guy? Because well, he looks like he's like 75. And how old is this guy? And how old is he, Jason? He's 50. He is born in 1932. This movie is 1982. I'm like, Damn. I'm older than this fucking guy. He looks like my dad. This like, guy this guy could be my dad today. <laughs> this guy looks super old. And to think that he was playing like Jack Tripper's dad. The same year. Or father-in-law, yeah. The same year. Yeah. So, John uh, uh, John Ritter was probably like thirty ish. So he was playing a young, you know, anybody oh. young. Yeah, uh, Vicky. He had Vicky when he was young. <laughs> he looked. I, I couldn't believe he, he was her. fifty years old. I'm like, how is this guy younger than me now? Do I look that old when people see me making out with you're, my wife? When my wife getting, is giving me a blowjob under the table, like this guy was you're getting, getting close in this movie. to the uh, to uh, what's it called? It's age from Cocoon. Wilford Brimley. Oh, Wilford right. Brimley. I am. You're getting it's close 52, to that age. I think. 54. 53, I think. 54, 54 yeah. yeah. Well, I follow God. the Twitter Tomorrow page. Tomorrow might be different. There's a Twitter page. It might be different Any, Anytime a celebrity hits that age, they mention it. Oh, really? Yeah, I think David Arquette just hit it recently. <laughs> and, and David Arquette, as beat up as he is, still looks better than Wilford Brimley did at 54. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wilford Brimley, he was bald, white hair. Remember in the glasses? He was. Yeah, the diabetes. He looked like he was retired. Yeah. He He's, was 54. He was already he, John Quaker, Amici and uh, the other guy were like a thousand years yeah, old. Quaker Oats. <laughs> he was eating Quaker Oats already. Doing his Had his Oats. diabetes. <laughs> I got my diabetes. John Goodman playing him on uh, Saturday Night Live <laughs> yeah. on the horse was so funny because then, like, I think he had like the uh, the mustache and it, and it came off, so the mustache was just like hanging, dangling as he was, but he kept going through it. It was so great. So but, where uh, were we, Wolf or Brimley? That was where, Robert where Mann. Where was he in this movie? <laughs> and then uh, the girl you were talking about earlier who played Bernadette is Felice Schachter. You wanted to talk about her. I could talk. Did I want to talk about her? Well, I thought you said you said you wanted to say something about her. I wanted to tell you that she's also uh, uh, been in several episodes of Different Strokes. Well, she was the uh, she was the spinoff of of Different Strokes to make Facts of Life. Really? Like when Facts of Life was the first season of Facts of Life did not have like Joe and it 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 was in Kim Fields and it had um, oh that's right uh, Mindy Cohn yeah but it it was not um, what like Lisa Welchel when when people think when when people think about Facts of Life they think about the four girls with Miss Garrett but it was not that it was like McCain wasn't there yet yeah Yeah. it was like a younger and yeah Molly Ringworm was Molly Ringworm was there Tootie was on the the roller skates Tootie was on roller skates because she was like but she was only like eleven and all the other girls were like 14 or 15 so she was really short uh, but the so girl from um skates. zapped she was the spinoff she was the she was in different strokes and they spun off her character into oh. facts of life yep and then she went to brown university and then said fuck acting that's and why she wore brown university t-shirt in this uh oh was she wearing a brown yeah brown university went, t-shirt and that's oh, funny yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. but she went to ivy she went with uh jimmy carter's daughter to I really, I don't know if Jimmy that was Carter. the same time. Like, she's like, I'm going with Jimmy Carter's daughter. You know what? Screw acting. 
She's just like, I've had enough of this. But that's in her top four. Facts of Life, Zapped, Different Strokes, and then 30 Years to Life, a 2001 movie. That sounds like some a movie they did 30 years after her career. <laughs> she only did nine <laughs> things as an actress. I think she stopped after Zapped because she went to, or no, maybe Facts well, of Life. That one movie was 2001. So she came back to do that movie. I think it so sounds weird. documentary. 30 Years to Life. She plays the waitress. Uh, what? <laughs> maybe one of her kids is in it or something. <laughs> uh, this guy, I'm not sure. Maybe you've heard of him. Scatman Crothers. He's in this movie. <laughs> I dragged my son in to watch. I'm like, what's this guy from? He said Shining. I'm like, that's all I know him from, too. He was one of the things I'm sure. He's in oh, he's in Twilight Zone, the movies. One Flew oh, Over the Cuckoo's, Cuckoo's Nest. Like, yes, yeah. and, and Love Boat. The Aristocrats. <laughs> right. The Aristocrats or the Aristocats? Aristocrats. What's no, Scat- he's in the Aristocats. Listen, Excuse what's Scatman Crothers top four? I just need to know it. The Aristocats is in his top four. <sighs> I would not be happy if I died with Twilight Zone, the movie. <laughs> that's one okay. F- one Flew Over the Cuckoo's that's Nest. That's very good. And the Shinning. But not zapped. I'd rather have zapped than the Aristocats. Yeah. In my top yeah. Four. But the other three take. And and who was his wife in zapped? <laughs> Aunt Esther. Aunt Esther. <laughs> Aunt Esther was I his mean, wife. And she, just, she made like an appearance and a half. She can, was in his. Can we talk about how she tackled him? She was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually said to Michelle when that happened, I was like, I don't like when they don't even like try to hide the stunt doubles. Like you can see <laughs> you that tell. was obviously not. <laughs> that was, was almost like a linebacker. <laughs> <laughs> I think they had Alex Karras <laughs> tackle her. Oh wait, sorry, that's the wrong movie. That was last I'm week's sorry, movie. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, he but, tackled his wife. Wait. But um Yeah, that's right, Susan. Clark. And he was going after some booty. <laughs> he did. Yeah. But remember she said, I'll damn you. She was like, damn you. <laughs> But he when was he so had, happy all the time, when he went to the incinerator and the the pot was like, oh my god! When he had that trip, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Has anybody had that kind of reaction to weed ever? Where you just like have a completely animated experience? Because <laughs> I need that shit. I don't have that. Yeah, that must have been good stuff. Barney was growing. <sighs> it was the best stuff. I've tried <laughs> so many ways to get there, and that's not. I go. I don't get there. You want to talk about Heather Thomas's top four? I want to talk about Heather Thomas. Heather Thomas is zapped in that one poster that everybody my age had over their bedroom, and I don't know anything else. T.J. Hooker. Oh, I thought it was Heather Locklear. Oh, that's that Heather, is Heather Locklear. Locklear. I think but, you might be oh, thinking Fall but, Guy. Fall Guy. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Fall Guy. You know is what? In the top four. It's so funny because I called Heather Thomas today at least Heather fifteen Locklear. times. Heather Locklear. So <laughs> they are the same person. So whatever is one's yeah. top ten it's just, is the other. You got to see 10. Heather Thomas's TTs. Not and Heather Locklear was keeping hers under lock and key. Uh, Heather Heather Thomas said that uh, that she didn't do the nudity. It wasn't her. It wasn't her. They well, except for the picture where they showed her lying on the bed, all the rest was they caught her on the counter. Yeah, there was no head her. or. They, she said even. that they imp- superimposed her head onto that body in the picture. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. Well, good for her. I'm glad they did. They did a good she job had an, of making an incredible uh, body. They made a good job of the way that. Uh, oh, when things were popping out, open, yeah, you know, when her skirt came off. Oh my god. Yeah. She was a gorgeous woman. I, I kept thinking she looked like Britney Spears. I said to Michelle at least twice. I'm like, this girl, she's Heather Thomas, she's at that 24 age. 24 in this movie. Oh, I kept thinking, like, this looks like Britney Spears, like, 20 years later. I mean, Do you, you were young just Britney, Spears. To your Britney Spears records, weren't you? I don't think I've ever owned one of those. <laughs> was the, what was her name from uh, South Park? Britney, his uh, sister. Britney Spears records. He's trying to leave me hanging out there, but it's not going to work. I'm not, I'm not I, quite I, sure I know what you're going for. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Right? I uh, don't think I do. What am I going for? Britney Spears going? records. The the girl says it. I'm not listening to my Britney Spears records. It's a uh, Kyle's sister. Uh, oh, uh, Shelly. Oh, okay. yeah, Shelly. Yeah. She's like, I'm not listening to my Britney for. Spears records. I thought she was a fan of uh, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was different because that was Randy. Randy was uh, lured. <laughs> Good stuff. We get off the fucking track so yeah, easily. We <laughs> Were we talking um, about Heather Thomas or Heather Lockley? Heather Thomas. We just did her top four. That poster. Was, wait, what, was, what poster. was her top four? It was Zapped, Cyclone, The Fall Guy, and Girl Trash. <gasps> Girl Trash. 
I have not seen Girl Trash, but I'd be interested in seeing That's Girl from 2014. Trash. So ah, it might not be, that's uh, excited now. <laughs> Heather Thomas, 2014, not as was, much as If I said that was 1984, then you would have been a little more excited to watch. I would yeah. stop this podcast right now. <laughs> so let's go. We'll, we'll be right back. Girl Trash. <laughs> Brian, edit and, this out. That doesn't make me t- we took a re- break to see Girl Trash. Also, Surprise, maybe I don't know if you remembered. I did remember that he was in this movie. Eddie Deason. Eddie Dude, Deason is at it. the fraternity party. <laughs> and oh, he was can, awesome. Can we talk about what his shirt said? Oh, God, man. Did I write it down? I don't think I wrote it down. I remember it. He said one of the words when he just said, God, man. It's a God's, God's gift, gift to women. <laughs> Eddie Deason. I'm just glad I didn't write it down. Great. Um, <laughs> When they had the fight after the roulette wheel spun in the air, and, and yeah. the, all the guys just, and he is on, like, someone's back just like, ah! <laughs> like slapping at him. <laughs> I mean, we, Eddie Deason's in the episode that dropped this evening for the listeners, but I mean, not that it's live, but that's just funny. And it was just, oh, Grease 2? Was yeah, he in Grease 2? Yeah. Yeah. Did we I we talk that? about him in Grease 2. Yeah. Fuck, that movie sucked. Such yeah. a bad movie. Give it a 60. I like the movie. <laughs> I gave it a 60? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I was going to give Zap a 60, but like, <laughs> fuck, man. Grease 2 is much rather. Zap's got to go higher I'd now, much. Huh? I'd much rather watch Zap than Grease 2. Grease 2 is now a 40. I give it a 40. <laughs> I, I retroactively give it a 40. Um, I want to go. Is happened it, there? I, I have notes, but oh, I, I, saw, like, I saw you look over there at Brian's. Penis I, 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 I was looking for a clock to tell me how long we're into this. I, we still, we, we still have got plenty it. of time, yeah. Yeah, we should have good. And, uh, we're only like 30 minutes, so. okay. And we'll take extra if we have. I to, loved, right? I loved these are some of the things I wrote down as I'm watching this movie. The scuba diving, I love that he's taking notes, the scuba diving <laughs> mice at the beginning. <laughs> I, I love the scuba diving mice. Um, uh, when Willie Ames jumps on, you mean Bill. Uh, what's how the Thomas's has Jane. Jane Jane jumps on his Jordache jeans. You see the Jordache <laughs> right. right up. Um, that's so funny. Scatman Crothers actually says at one point he's going whoring around. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> whoring <I> around. <laughs> that should be that should be used more often. I love that phrase. <laughs> I'm going whoring around. What have you been doing this weekend? Uh, I was whoring around. Oh, I said super creepy dummy puppet because I forgot how this movie ended. That the puppet actually became something later on. Yeah, like because the dog just sits down next to the puppet. I'm like, <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> Heart? Like I don't get the I don't get that thing. The ventriloquist puppet. Like how scary that looks. I don't know. It wasn't scary. To oh me. no, that's that, that that's evil. It's always evil. Does it looking. bother you? It doesn't. I just I don't. have one in my basement. <laughs> He would, <laughs> and it actually scared one of our kids' friends. Yeah, I think it would scare one of your friends' dads if I walked down <laughs> in your basement right now because I don't like those things. I saw the movie Magic Wait, when I was very young, and I don't dads? like those movies. Wait, one mean, of his sons' friends' dads. <laughs> that makes sense. Did I do that? No, I got it now. I got oh, confused okay. with it before. <laughs> All right, so uh, creepy puppet. Um, oh, Gary. Gary, 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 in the in the uh, when they're doing poetry in class, and Gary <laughs> with the bandanas tied around his arms in the in the uh, mohawk, and he's got the mohawk dyed red, and he goes up there and he's giving his poetry. <laughs> he is. Oh, Cap- we know him. He is Captain Kirk's son in Star That's Trek right. two and three. Wrath Same of Khan? Year. He is David in Wrath of Khan. And- oh, wait. I think we talked about that on Wrath of Khan. Yeah. I think you might have oh, mentioned that. Oh, we talked about it. He was in Zapped. <laughs> I think oh, I didn't backtrack to do that. Anthony did, possibly. That's a great. When I was uh, watching this, I, I was like, again, no. I, I was looking at him like, this guy reminds me of somebody. And I looked him up. He is David Kirk. Well, I don't know if his And that's also because then you don't hear anything about him. That's Kirk's son. And well, he, he gets killed in part right? three. three yeah, dies, yeah. Because he doesn't give up the information. And he dies in real life for yeah, Probably, in right? oh, 89, he had AIDS. He, had AIDS. Right? Yeah. Yeah, he died in 89 of AIDS. But that but that tough guy giving the poetry is uh, David Kirk. <laughs> How great is that? That's awesome. Uh, then I have Chachi's boner when he was Which in class. Like, yeah. At that same scene, yeah. he had the boner. Yeah. They didn't then, show the boner, though. No, 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 no. He was covering he, he, himself he, he, up. But, but yeah. you knew why he was getting up because he was uh, like looking at uh, Heather Thomas and yeah. like fantasizing about it. We have the DVD. It has bonus scenes. It has bonus boners. Bonus, bonus boners. Yeah. 
It's a summer of boners. Pee Wee's boner, <laughs> Chachi's boner. What's next? We're Should we do uh, Kevin Bacon's boner? Go. And, uh... Friday the Thirteenth, the original Friday the Thirteenth, Kevin Bacon's boner <laughs> almost poked a girl's eye out. Um, <laughs> then I have Millennium Enterprise. Oh, I had that down too. Yeah, that ship that was flying around when he it's sh- a Millennium Falcon. It's a Millennium Falcon with, with, with it's back Millennium Falcon with, backwards with the Star Trek nacelles. With the bubba? The cells. I looked that up. <laughs> Whatever those engine That's things you, are. Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever those engine things are on the back of the Enterprise. That's what they're yeah, It's yeah. the backwards Millennium Falcon or Falcon. I love that. With those that. things I on want the back. That Lego set. <laughs> yeah. I was like, uh, it's the two best ships that ever existed. The Enterprise and the Millennium Falcon. That's so good. Now, I like Brady had Brady walked back in at that point. Oh, he and, got and even saw him man. go into the the, the the plane go into the fish tank and he was like what the hell power does he have and he walked out <laughs> well it, i thought i like it, i could just see him getting mad too i thought he was like, moving it behind the aquarium well no it flew through it i, it like, I, I think you're supposed to assume it was flying behind it oh i, I thought that like it came the, at, the crackling purple or whatever when it was <sighs> flying into it i thought it Man. went through it yeah, I thought it I was thought throwing. Throw it, yeah. I thought that was too stupid. So I thought it was just going <laughs> well, behind it. <laughs> it was too much for Brady. Maybe, maybe they couldn't afford the special effects, and that's just what it ended up looking like. Yeah. Um, I got a couple other things I, want, I have here, but um, the uh, uh, Heather Thomas, Heather Locklear Thomas's boyfriend's um, college that he went to was the. T Winkles, the T Winkles. Yeah, awesome. I googled that like fifteen times during this movie. I'm like, is this a real school? Are there a T Winkles team out there? And I could also, not find that. Also, why is that. he coming back to the high school dance? That's just the prom. I just thought that. Oh, was Michelle weird. said that during the prom scene. She's like, how many like people that have graduated are allowed back in there? Because he had all his boys with him too. <laughs> and did they have dates? Like they can't no, just show they up. Can't show up, but it's. Uh, <laughs> This is where hey, is this, like, was this California? Hey, we're where was this? this? I, it would have to be. Yeah, the scenes were in California. Was that, so. Okay, I was gonna say maybe it's a Florida, maybe it's a Porky sequel, <laughs> a, a sneaky Porky Porky sequel. I did get. I do have um, the girl that played Bernadette. She was the only one who was of high school age. Oh, everybody else is older than her. She missed her high school prom to film the scenes for the high school prom. And then <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, I have um. How about the when they were at the theme park, the punch that Barney turned that punch around on that guy? <laughs> and like, <laughs> his powers were so vague, where his that's eyes, one, his his Homelander eyes were that's just the like one Brady, uh, needed, Brady needed uh, to see that the punch uh, turned uh, and go back. <laughs> at one point, uh, Chachi's walking around with double-breasted pocket shirt, yeah. and I was like. I've never seen a double breast shirt in my life. <laughs> but you want it. one. Well, I would not look good now. Now you'd see my boobs, you know, that'd be ugly. But the double breasted pocket shirt. Um, I have two more comments. Uh oh. They're connected to the same thing. Um, Uh-oh. last week to- we talked about Porky's with the all white cast, and they were the basketball team. This year, this week in Zapped, we get the all white cast and. They're the stars of the baseball team. Like Chachi's a baseball player. He swung the bat at one point. He looked like he had never held a bat in his life, but he hit a home run because he had the zap powers. But like, but you know who looks like he but, never swung a but, bat before in his life? Hang on. Stop. 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 stop, stop. But I'll get there. I'll get there. I'll get there. But like when, when Chachi swung the bat, he used the zap powers, but he was like not even <laughs> holding the bat correctly. He's like, he had the hand so, above their other anyway, hand. Yeah. I'll start you on your way here by saying Willie Ames was the pitcher for their team. They should have shown this guy video (laughs) of Steve Carlton or Don Sutton or Rick wise or someone that was pitching in 1982 on how to pitch a ball because you don't throw it and then leap forward with both (laughs) legs. And like, I was like, what is, who's doing this? But it made no sense. He was not the only one pitching like that because the other guy on the other team pitching like that was Jerry Too Mean Levine. <laughs> and I knew you were going for him because he was Too Mean Levine. Also, how bad was his, his batting? Uh, was batting bad. Was he was time. another one that looked like he had never held a bat in his life. <laughs> and he swings down <laughs> like this. He actually swings down and the ball goes, bloop. 
<laughs> but now we have done immediately went in the sky. We have so. done three movies in a row, and there might be movies after this that might continue this trend on Grease Two, Porky's, and now Zapped, where there are. 20 something year olds playing high school age people, but Tumin Levine was a 96 year old man playing a high school. So he couldn't even put his baseball helmet yeah. on. They probably had a bunch of like tweener helmets there and said, put this on as you walk up to bat. And I mean, just the guy's head was tied to suck <laughs> on his head. That guy's head had to be just be so big. Just in I have no idea who he is, how old he was, he's but he was a, he's in an episode of the Jeffersons that I love. <laughs> he was definitely 45 years old. If he, he was um, not 45, I mean he's lying about his age. Because he looked like an old man. Yeah, I gotta look it up. When he was standing up there pitching, I'm like when do they get to the majors <laughs> or the senior game? Like, cause why is this guy pitching all of a sudden? And then when he batted, I'm like, I don't know why they couldn't like hire like the local baseball coach to say like, this is how you hold the bat when you want to swing the ball cause, or swing the bat. <laughs> that would be me coaching and swing the bat now, boy. Um, the Wanda page. Yeah, she is Mrs. Jones. Wanda page. Who are you I'm just sorry. I'm looking at the IMDb. That was uh Ann Esther. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She'll always be an answer to me. Yeah, but anyway, the baseball stuff was ridiculous, terrible, and <laughs> obviously, the special Ir- effects Irwin were- Irwin Keyes, his name is. Who, what's that? Irwin Keyes is who played- And that's uh, Tumin Levine? Tumin Levine. He was uh, 30. 30. He was 30 years old. He was born, <laughs> oh, he was 30 years old. He was 30 years old. He was born in 1952. I And he died in that. 2015, <laughs> 63 years old, he died. Oh. What's his top four? And I dispute his- 30 there. His top four <laughs> are the Warriors. Come and play. Oh. Yep. Intolerable Cruelty. The Jeffersons. He plays Hugo. And then. Uh, oh, I remember it? Hugo from the Jeffersons. Yeah. And I'm gonna get, I'll give you the name of his character in this movie. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> and you tell me. <laughs> Please say Obi Wan something. It's gonna be, I think we <laughs> should give it away. Joe Rockhead. <laughs> Oh, is it like a Flintstone movie? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Joe Rockhead made me laugh. Because that's like you hear the name. I don't, you see him maybe once or twice in the, but Fred talks about him like, oh, Joe Rockhead. Hey, my the, boy uh, Joe Rockhead. <laughs> <laughs> to me, Levine. Erwin Keith. I need a genetic test on this guy after the game because. <laughs> he was 30. He's playing high school. Baseball. I mean, Stocker Channing was like 32 in Greece, but still. Yeah, but this still. guy looked like a fucking <laughs> gigantic man. It's like Mark McGuire stepped into the box, and you're like, I got a picture of this guy. <laughs> like, what the fuck? How long has he been doing steroids? 18 years. <laughs> oh, to me, Levine. And, and he, he had a great swing if he just. <laughs> <laughs> if he maybe uppercut instead of lower cut it. Whoever thinks that's going to work, <laughs> you just want to chop the ball to the second baseman? <sighs> yeah, so there was a lot of horniness in this movie, right? Not just from the students. It was, uh, you had some horniness with the uh, with the teachers and yeah, the principal. Uh, and the principal the, uh, went on, yeah, the, principal. I, when I was watching this movie and he uh, went on his date, his uh, blind date. How'd they do it? I don't remember now. Wasn't it like a dating service? A personal kind of thing? in the yeah. paper. Oh, right. Because I was going to say, they didn't have Tinder back then, right? No. Nah, yeah. But then he showed up and the secretary lady was the dater. Male seeking female. <laughs> she was blowing him there. Like animal, ha- or not animal, has um, oh, fuck, police academy blowing him. Like, oh, yeah. Like, below podium, decks remember, kind of yeah. thing. And his, his, I'm getting a blow job acting was like. <laughs> Has anybody ever touched your penis? Like he was <laughs> <laughs> holding on for dear life and like, singing and under like the table. Sinking further and <laughs> further <laughs> under the table. You know your knee is going deeper and deeper to her forehead now. Like you might not want to keep putting your knee I down. I was like, there. you know, she has to keep moving as you move too, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's why the waiter who did not know what was happening originally, because she was Popping out the back at the end of that blowjob. <laughs> it was like right in his face. Like, you sure you need anything? You let me know. But it was so funny because when that scene started, Michelle and I were like, 
what, why are they even doing this scene? But by the end, it was so ridiculous. We were laughing so hard at it's that just like scene. It's like the last week's scene with the laughter with the uh, administrators. Again, the teachers were laughing when it's like a serious offense that the, <laughs> like the teacher's trying to bring up. But this and scene, they, this scene felt like why are they even, this scene, this movie's not about, no need for that. this movie's not about the principal. This yeah. movie's all about, is all about. I was just adding to make it fit into the hour and 38 minutes yeah. or whatever. it was a four minute scene just because like we got yeah, to make it a little shit. longer than 90 minutes but, no, but god that was so funny i mean it, it was it was it didn't matter but it was so funny oh. <laughs> just doesn't matter when when they were at the prom and everybody was getting their tops ripped off because of oh you mean half the people were getting their tops ripped off <laughs> the people you wanted to get their tops ripped off <laughs> Every guy got to keep his top, but um, oh, maybe he, did, do you think he was able to like pinpoint? Like, how's telekinesis? Br- he work? had did to like- because people were just randomly getting their <laughs> clothes ripped off. So you think he was like just thinking this way, and then people ran through it, or he was looking at specific girls yeah. and oh, maybe that's what boom. it was. Oh, he had good, also he had good, very he had good aim. He also, like, great <laughs> scene uh, after the baseball game that they won. And then got taunted by the car driving past <laughs> yeah. them because they won. Like you're taunting the team that, that beat you. <laughs> and he rips the tops off the girls and then he pantses the guys and just drags them through the air to the people that are having a picnic and lot leaves them in a tree. Brady hated. He, oh, that he, was that, fucking that hilarious. That was another one he walked in with and he was like, that's the worst green screen. Wow. This, Brady, this is like, 1982. Brady, I don't think they invented that. Was probably blue screen still. Yeah, is yeah. Brady thinking this was supposed to be a serious movie? Like, I don't on. know what he was thinking. These special effects don't cut the muscle, uh, sir. We need Brady back on the podcast. He's in Florida. Call him up right now. Do you land yet? Oh, yeah. But, well, I guess I should check. Yeah. I mean, he's either landed in Florida, he's dead. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's not, he's like, they're That's circling cool. the runway. It's, it's like a yellow jacket situation down there in the Everglades. Oh, oh, his, his phone's down there. Maybe, so hopefully he is too. His phone landed in the Everglades. He landed in somewhere around Orlando. <laughs> Here, he's, he's somewhere. His in phone's there. in Space Mountain. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That looks like an old people's community. Yeah. You see a lot of water and roads. It's, it's uh, now where they're going. They don't need Apollo roads. Beach, south of uh, Tampa. South of the oh, they're on Tampa side. Yeah, tell them to look up Jules and Nancy while they're down there. Yeah, they're, on yeah, the they're, golf they're, side. they're towards them. Yeah, they're they're right there. Where are they? At? Uh, Apollo the, Beach. They're but uh, Jules and Nancy are put to Gorda. That's not that far from Tampa. Like maybe like half hour. That's like saying like, why don't we just go up to uh, New Brunswick right now because it's right there. <laughs> and be like, I'm to fucking New Brunswick. <laughs> like what? What? Why would I do that? Unless I'm somebody here. was at the stress factory, then maybe we would go. Yeah. <sighs> New Brunswick was like one of the like like the fourth unsafest town in the U.S. Really, New Brunswick, really? Yeah, interesting. In the U.S., not even New Jersey. In the not US. even New Jersey. I no. find that hard to believe. Camden was like higher, higher. Yeah, up. and what about like Chicago? I mean, Chicago every day has to be number one. Every Gary, right? Indiana, Detroit, and some other Gary, Indiana, and then New a, Brunswick, New then, Jersey, over then. like fucking like Elizabeth or anything in North Jersey. Yeah. Gary, Indiana, that's where the Jackson family's from. Oh. And I think Letterman. I think you're right, yeah. Yeah, it might not be. So, what are we talking about? Zap? Zap the movie. <laughs> There's a 2014 like Disney show or something. There was a sequel yeah, to Zendaya. Zap, too. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. <laughs> Hold, please. <laughs> There's a sequel, but it was the, eight the, years later. Th- there was a Zap 2 or Zapped something Zap like again. That. And I found that when I was looking for Zap that it I found that. It was 1990. Yeah, and it started, and Michelle and I were watching them like, they wouldn't start a, a Chachi movie with not Chachi being in the first like 10 minutes of this movie, right? movie. So No, I don't even know who the lead It was, the, uh, it was some is. blonde guy, and yeah. I don't know how he got the powers, but then we went out, came back, looked up Zapped again. I'm like, what's this Zapped? <laughs> and it was Zendaya. I'm like, well, hang on. Let's watch this. That's Disney, but, right? Yeah, it was, a, it was a kid show. She was a child in that. I yeah, because I think it was like 2014. Or but something. was yeah. that an actual like zapped? It wasn't in the universe. It was a... <sighs> same premise, though. It was? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't was, know what that was. It was the same about. premise. It, it was, was a remake okay. of that. Uh, so it was. Okay. Yeah. So she got the powers oh, so now. It was a Disney, yeah. I mean, she's like Disney pulling, remake. She's like pulling yeah. down flies and 
<laughs> smacking dicks and stuff like that or whatever. Was it the same weed? Is that what Disney's, was it Disney's weed? like smacking dicks? Is that what that's all about? <laughs> was it weed so. and uh, beer? <laughs> Did she have weed or? growing behind the orchids? <laughs> that was actually very... Oh, How was so, you snuck there when they were sneaking in? Robert Mandon was sneaking back. Why didn't when, why didn't when, you just go out the door? Why didn't <laughs> she oh, she snuck in? Why didn't she open the door and walk out and go get the principal and then walk back in instead of like sneaking back out? But the then window, why did he sneak going back going out? In. Like it made no sense because that's when he got caught. Unless the door out. doesn't have a lock, but you, they never showed that. Um, <laughs> fuck, I had something. Uh, just that that was my uh, Zendaya. That wasn't a, oh Zendaya, big fan. I've only seen her in um, Spidey, Spider Man. Yeah, I don't think I've seen her in anything else. I don't watch that. Um, that Euphoria. Other show. Yeah, I, I didn't her. watch that. Dana keeps saying to watch that, but Dana, come back on the podcast. We need. We'd, we'd like to give you a second chance. Listen to yourself on our Grease Two podcast, and then I then, think then I, I from I listened from the raw version that I listened to. I think she sounded good. Well, that was heavily edited. So you're saying she didn't sound good? Oh no, Ryan? no, Dana. Dana right. sounded good. You heard what he said, right? So he said Dana was no good. <laughs> no, she was good. So who specifically was not good? Our, our wives. Our wives. <laughs> I will never have my wife on this podcast again. Well, we tried to get her to even give a damn score for the last two movies. She wouldn't even the last give a score weeks. for the last. I two sat hours. with Michelle watching Zapped and Porky's last week, and. She laughed and giggled like a fucking child during both these movies. And you know what she still won't tell me She'll what the score is. She'll say she hated him. I hated him. That's and not- apparently, she can't figure out what it means to give a score out of 10. <laughs> that means, huh? <laughs> give me a score out of 10. Huh? Remember when like, I said- Like, I don't know, 8, 12, 15? <laughs> What's a score out of 10 mean to you? Remember when I said 0 to 100 last week? Or two weeks ago? And for- she said gorilla. <laughs> like, I don't get it, man. All these years, I thought my wife was and, really bright, and then, Brian, <laughs> and, then, and then I put a mic in front of her face. And then I realized how just dumb she like was. This. Yeah, she would uh, talk like this over the mic. Who was that? Christine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Christine had no conception that she had to talk into a mic. Can you tell me how Andy did that night on uh, the Grease Two podcast? How did he sound? He Wait, sounded- how did that sound good? Good. I was waiting for him to say good. I wanted to get a compliment. You, you for guys, you, but yeah, you, you guys sounded good. Well. I've been I fucking doing this for a year now. I hope exactly. It was I, was, I was trying to throw some compliments at you. Why? I didn't know you were going to get all angry about it. <laughs> I don't need a compliment. Why do I need a compliment from you? You don't. I'm but I thought now. it would be sweet. I'm not I'm not weak. Send me all your bad reviews. All of you. Everybody send me your bad reviews. Kevin, you got a bad review for Andy this <laughs> week? Kevin. This guy's sitting up there in the Great White North going He's like, like, why do I, I got to give a I review? I'm the only one on this entire said, continent. said, am I the only one going to give the reviews, guys? Come on. Come we on, guy. a whole guy. continent here. He said, all the people somebody else. Because there's the Indian guy. He's, he that's a different continent. That's all the way on the other say, side of the world. He can't even say, hey, guys. Yes, say, hey, guy. <laughs> I would like to know who our Indian uh, listener is. How we're gonna have to, can we find out? Like, do oh, we put out we, if we ask him, Indian listener, please contact us. And you can reach us at. <laughs> He's pretty steady. That'd have been perfect if we were ready. If I had already given uh, the scores, that'd have been my out. I was like, you know what I'm gonna do here? <laughs> that was a good out. You should just leave on that. <laughs> Zapped. It's fine. Everybody, just do your thing. Watch it again. <laughs> Are we close to that time to give scores? I think we talked about it. Yeah, yeah, we're good for now. So um, do you want to kick it off? Do you want me to kick this one off? I can kick this off. Well, you at least should say what we're doing. Uh, We're going to review the scores here. We're going to give our scores uh, out of 10. Out of 100. (laughs) Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know how to do 10. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I'll start. Um, Oh, my God. I always start. Fuck that, Brian. You go. He's got a Yuga. I got a score. I know what I'm doing. I got my score yeah, already. Gonna, it's already written down. Give my score. Uh, I'm going to give it a 50. <laughs> I like that. Why? Uh, because I, I didn't. I didn't super. You know, the I movie was funny. Brady's, in its that's points. Brady's review. I uh, I loved Heather Thomas in this. I don't think he did. But it. The, <laughs> I don't think he liked it. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't really like. I'll, I'd watch the movie again, but he said I'm he connected more not, with and, Porky's than he did with. The, yeah, uh, I, def, I definitely like Porky's. More. We knocked heads on Porky's seventies, right? Fifties, fifties yeah. on Porky's. 
Port oh, a score, seventies. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Seventy. Yeah, we, 70, I yeah. gave I gave the same score as you. Was I got uh, confused? Uh, I thought he meant this nineteen seventies yeah. too. Seventy. I think we gave. You both said seventy. Yeah. Yes. No, you keep going. I'm, I'm oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. Interrupt. Oh no, I I just uh, yeah, if the Did acting you say you was would terrible. Or wouldn't watch it again. I would watch it, would again, watch it again, but I I don't think I'd go out of my way to watch it. I would go out of my way if I was in. I um <laughs> had to go through jump through hoops to watch this movie today, and I my wife luckily had the DVD. His why? I think it was under a pillow. She's a huge Scott <laughs> Baio fan. Uh, uh, we wouldn't know that from her score that she won't give never us. Never gave us. <laughs> uh, I will never watch this movie again. This is like a, a 40, generously a 40. Uh, it didn't suck. I laughed multiple times, but why? Note, note he did give Grease <laughs> to a higher score than Zach. Yeah, I, I retract that Grease to retra- score. You can't retract the score. Retract, that was the rule. I was looking at a bunch of women. They'd all give it at like nineties. I retract. give it a sixty. You were the second one to go. I think Dana went first, and then you, or no, you uh, went before Dana. This movie's dumb. It's not even. It's it's funny, but acting's terrible. The music is fucking dreadful. The soundtrack oh, was yeah. done by some, I, 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 some guy that's famous in the Philippines for a song forty years ago. Maybe one of these songs, but uh, not good. What was my score? Forty five. You said forty. You said forty. Forty. 40. Yeah, I stick with 40. Yeah, yeah. Not good. <laughs> Fun, but I'll never watch it again. I'm going to go and say I would watch this movie again. I think it's better than Porky's. I give it a higher score than Porky's. You are wrong. That's, that's our opinions, right? No, it's yeah. not. You're wrong. Oh, wait. I was supposed to give Andy's score. Hold on. Uh, I give it a 40. <laughs> or 45. I forget what I gave. You gave it a 40. Halfway I got it, during my I got it written down right here. <laughs> Uh, but no, my score is a 75. I enjoyed it. Wow, uh, really? The, I enjoy the bad music. I enjoy it. I enjoy the bad acting. I think it's fun and funny. I, I just love the, the connection that you have with Willie Ames and uh, Scott Bayo. I think that's a fun duo. You've seen it over the years in many uh, different uh, series. And, uh, Name yeah. three. Okay. <laughs> Zap, Charles, Zap, Charles. Zap, Charles in charge. And um, said many. That's more than two. You didn't let me finish. <laughs> I'm waiting for the third. <laughs> There's, I'm trying to think of what the n- name of the show Charles was. Charles was a Nickelodeon two? show. No, it was a Nickelodeon show. Jason Hervey, Fred Savage's brother on The Wonder Years, what? was also he was the producer of it. I can't remember the name of it. Really? I'm sorry, man. I, I'm interrupting your score. Please continue. It's a, it's a, 70, a dick. It's a 75. percent <laughs> I know you guys. We're not going to agree on everything, but. You, you, I, I loved Clue. You didn't love Clue. You know, he, he he's getting like to be a curmudgeon. This, there's no <laughs> way this movie's better than Porky's, man. That is a well, wrong I gave, opinion. I gave Porky's a 69. This is a 75. So they're not that much difference. But, but I, I gave like, Porky's a 70. If I had a, a chance. 40, it's very different. If I had a chance in a week from now and you said, hey, you can watch Zapped if you sit in this chair. You can sit in this chair and you watch Porky's. I'm going to choose the chair of Zapped. Are you really? Yes. Oh, I'll never watch Zapped again. And now I'm going to put a poll out this week on who would what would you rather watch, Zapped or Porky's? And there are three answers. We'll find out who wins. There's three? Yeah, Zapped I'll or vote, Porky's? Look, I'll vote. You'll vote. And oh, Kevin oh, 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 oh. Oh, I thought you meant like there was a Zap Porky's or no, other the, the or three, something like no, that. Three. Zap Porky's. <laughs> three people three will answer. Kevin, because Brian, Brian doesn't Brian, even Brian, know Brian Brian social media answer. doesn't exist. It'll be you, me, and It's then so funny when I see Kevin, like. Kevin's two, a deciding vote. Two people have liked a exciting and new something. It's Jason and Andy. I'm like, isn't there a third person attached to this fucking podcast? You know Can't even like it. Can I tell you this? Fuck that guy. We get more <laughs> likes from variance reviews. I like that guy. Yeah. Conrad. Yeah. He's a good he friend us, of mine. He man. gives us, he like gives us good reviews. <laughs> We get more positive reviews from a guy in Canada than we get a guy sitting at the <laughs> fucking out, table shout out we're to at our, right now. Shout out to our lawyer, Kevin. <laughs> and we will need you as our lawyer someday. <laughs> when we're in Canada and get in trouble. Yeah, he's probably got, he's bar <laughs> he's got approved in America, Come I'm on, sure. Man. He knows people. He, he can't make money being a lawyer in Canada. I'm sure he is also, he's working across the board. He's probably a, like a. Ontario, Michigan guy, and he, he bounces back and forth. Oh, Michigan, I'll get a lot of work. Definitely. I really wish we had Michelle's score now, but 
I guess the oh, I guess the podcast Michelle probably would give Zap the hundred. The podcast fans <laughs> out there, you'll never know what Michelle really gives it, but we'll we'll assume she gave it a hundred. But if you text us, we'll tell you. <laughs> she didn't text us in the past two hours. So I don't think you're gonna get that text now. I walked up there and asked her, please said, respond you, to right? my text. <laughs> okay, no problem. And let's see. Uh Apparently, it's still a problem. <laughs> it's, a it's like on, not even on red. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. But, um, okay, so I think uh, I didn't have as uh, witty an ending for this one, but uh, this has been the exciting a new podcast. I'm Jason. I think I'm Andy. And I'm Brian. And you can find us at the exciting a new podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Or however you're listening um, to it right Spreaker, now. however YouTube, listen, <laughs> yeah, wherever you get your podcast, the Jazu on Instagram, Jazu74 on Twitter. Uh, Egonzo1. Papa Bad Kitty. Pop his bad kitty. It's been popped. <laughs> <laughs>